Hey, it's Chris Thelman, real estate guy. Here are the 11 things you gotta do in order to make sure your home is ready to go on the market. Number one, we have to ascertain your value. We need to know how much your home is worth. We gotta find that wealth, that wealth value report, right? We need to know what your community is going for. Value is very, very important. Number two, you need to hire a listing agent. You need to hire somebody who's professional, ethical, experienced, who can get your home sold in a timely fashion and get you the money that you need to move on to your next home, right? Number three, buy new light bulbs. Get the newer ones. They really may make your rooms pop, man. Light, bright, open, and area. There are four things that I love to say whenever I list a home. Give your home a deep clean. Heck, hire a cleaner. I have someone I can refer you. There's a great job for about $200 total cost, depending on how big your home is. But she does fantastic work, and your home will look and smell wonderful. Number five, you gotta be clean. Clutter, man. Get rid of all that junk that you don't use. In fact, when I sold one of my homes recently, I got one of those pods. A 12 by 12 pods is 144 square feet. And check it out. I filled that thing up and completely decluttered my house. By the time the pod came to the new house, I didn't even want the stuff, man. I gave it all away because guess what? You don't use it and you don't realize you don't use it until you don't have it. Call a handyman. If you find little, you know, honeydew list items that need to be taken care of, get a handyman. I can refer one to you. It just depends on availability. But, you know, you want to make sure that your baseboards are legit and clean and painted and looking nice. You want to make sure that your outlet covers aren't broken. You want to make sure there's no holes or scratches in the walls. That truly can affect the value of your home because when the potential buyer comes in, you don't want them going out of their head, oh, I got to paint the baseboards. Oh, I got to fix that outlet. Oh, I got to fix that lamp. You want everything to be on point, man, styling and dialing. That takes us to number seven, paint the walls. If you have all kinds of crazy colors that you love, that's great, but your potential buyer may not. So get all those walls painted one solid color that is an earth tone, right? A brown, a gray, a beige, somewhere in between you'll be surprised how much painting your home will add value to it. Number eight, stage the home. Even if you're still gonna live there, we wanna move around your furniture a little bit to make it look like it's a lot bigger than it truly is because that is one of the keys when, when somebody's looking at a home. They wanna see space. Those closets, let's clear out what you don't wear. If you don't wear those long jackets and those, those winter clothes, if it's summer, let's clear out all the winter stuff, man. If it's winter, let's clear out all the summer stuff. Make it look a lot larger than it is. It will help when we go to sell it, I promise you. Number nine, hire a professional photographer. Guess what, that's what I do. I bring a professional photographer with me, videographer as well. I do videos for all my listings. I do marketing communities for all my listings. So if you live in Val Vista Lakes, I'm gonna have a Val Vista Lakes community just based on your home. And then we'll have a video for your home and we'll have HD photography for your home. It's an amazing marketing plan that I do just for you to help you get your home sold. Number 10, I talked earlier about decluttering your closets, decluttering your house, getting rid of that stuff that you don't use. Well, check it out. If you take all that stuff, you put it in that pot I mentioned, you're decluttering the house, you have it sitting in a secure location because it can be cold stored or it can be regular stored outside. Either way, I prefer the cold storage one because it keeps everything nice and comfy and a nice temperature for the Arizona sun. So get a cold storage, get a pod, get something to put all your clutter in, put all your clothes you're not wearing in, anything that you don't use, man. Let's clear it all out. Let's make it look light, bright, open, and airy. Number 11, depersonalize your home. I don't want to see any pictures of you living there. I don't want to see any pictures of your kids living there or your grandkids living there. I don't want to see any pictures of you on adventures with your spouse. Uh, significant other while living in the home. None of that because what happens is the buyer then goes walks into the home and what do they do? They look at all the stuff on the walls. They're not looking at the house. Oh, they must have went to Alaska there. Oh, they went to Japan there. All of a sudden, they're supposed to be looking at your house and they're looking at all your adventures. Where you've gone. Oh, the wedding. Oh, the graduation. That's a complete distraction from what they're supposed to be doing, which is falling in love with your house so they can eventually call it home, right? So there you go. If you do these 11 things before you put your home on the market, it's gonna help your home sell that much faster for that much more money and you're gonna be so much happier. Then I can get you from point A to point B like I do in all my download deals, right? So. For for more information, call me today at 602-321-6188. Let's get together. Let's have a conversation via Zoom so I can get you dialed in on a timeline because as soon as these 11 things are done, I'm coming over, we're signing the contract, we're getting you on the market within 48 hours. 602-321-6188. Let's go, man.